Hi everyone, my name is Sébastien Agré. I'm the creator and founder of Legree Fitness. Today I want to talk about the differences and similarity between the M3 on my left and the M3K Plus on my right. Now, pay attention, this is the M3K Plus. The Plus signifies the handles. I'm going to talk about the M3K and the M3K Plus as the M3K because there's the same machine except that of the handles. So when you order the M3K, for example, it will be the same platform, the same carriage, the same platform on the back end, except that the handles will be like these ones. These are rotating handles, but on the static, the plus version, you have the static handles. When I talk about the platform and the carriage of the M3K Plus, I'm gonna to refer to it as the M3K because it's the same platform, same carriage. So let's talk about the difference. So first of all, when you look at these two machines, they look very similar, although this one looks much bigger, right? It is, this one more, looks more present because it has, of course, this imposing static handles with a huge platform pad. So this look way more beefy, and especially when you put the side body panel, this looks like, wow, this has got a lot of presence, the M3K Plus, you know, versus the M3 when you have over here these little handles. Now, by the way, if you want to order the M3 with these handles, you can. And then this machine then will become the M3 Plus. And I will do a separate video talking about the difference between all the kinds of handles that we have because we have rotating handles, we have the static handles, and then we have a new kind of static handles that are slim handles without the pads. There's definitely a few different models and that will belong into a separate video. So let's talk about the machine itself. So you're looking at the M3, M3 is about 117 inches in length, usable length, right? We don't count the stabilizing rod over here. With the stabilizing rod, you get to about 122 inches in length, but you only use really 117 of it. On the M3K, we go to 125 inches of usable length. Now, why? Well, first of all, if you look, the platform has changed a lot. There's about a three, four, five years development in between the M3 and the M3K. And also keep in mind that there is, this, there is a model in between. I didn't jump from the M3 to the M3K. I went from the M3 to the M3S. And then from the research on the M3S, we developed the M3K. So this is a big jump. And it's a little unfair because we have the M3S in between, which I'm not talking, well, I, I will refer to it from time to time, but we don't have it. So this, this feels like it's a big jump, but when you put the M3S in perspective, it's a more logical evolution. 125 of usable length of the M3K, 117, so eight inches more on the M3K. The usable square footage is gonna be the same, 100 square feet, 100 square feet. The fact that you have eight inches more on the M3K is not going to require you to have more space in your room. So you can fit the same amount of megaformers, right? If you have a thousand square feet, I recommend 10M3 or 10M3K+. The platform on the M3 versus M3K, big difference. You know, we have the wider platform. This is a little shorter. Now we made this one narrower, but it's also longer. Why? Well, it's because we were using the M3 and we realized that people didn't need all that width. So we have about 32, 33 inches in width over here versus 24 inches on the M3K. 24 inches is about the golden distance to make the workout better. So we kind of shaved the size of that. And then over the course of developing the M3, the M3S, I've become very fond of developing the side rails. The side rails on the M3 were very useful. So we put some side rails on the platform on the M3S, decided that those side rails were really good, but unfortunately they were kind of away. So then we flush the side rails, you know, on the M3K. And this is the kind of bar that we have right now. So the kind of shape that we have. So we have a cross shape and then we have this bar that goes around. It looks like basically a C and an inverted C. That platform right now is the most successful platform that we have. Why? Because you represent many hands and feet adjustments. So you can grab the platform on the pad itself, wherever you want. So if you have narrow shoulder, broad shoulders, you can grab the bar next to it if you feel like it's a more comfortable grip. So the M3K platform gives you an incredible amount of options for your hands, for your feet, your elbows, and so on. On top of which, on the M3, we didn't have any numbers on it. We didn't have any indicia. So on the M3, you can see that we have numbers on the carriage going from 1 to 11. There's white line, red lines. These are called indicias. And these indicias were so successful that we decided to put them on the platform as well. So on the platform on the M3K, you have zero, you have a white line, a red line, and now you have also more reference point on the pad itself. And for the first time on the M3K line, we put a zero on the front and a 12 on the back to show the difference, right? So now when people get confused about the front and the back of the machine, you don't have to refer to the, the front and the back anymore. You can refer to the machine as number zero 
and number 12, and that's it. And that is, you know, very easy to see that. That is the difference of the platform, of the M3 platform versus the M3K. For the carriage, the carriage we kept about the same, same size, you know. So that carriage was a significant improvement over the M2. And we did a video uh, comparing the M2 versus the M3. So I would recommend that you watch that video for reference. On the M2, essentially the carriage was long, but very narrow. And I realized that a shorter person could easily adjust their position on the carriage, but the taller person like me, for example, had a harder time, so we need more width. So I went from creating a carriage that was basically 24, I think, inches in width to about 33 inches. So I added almost an extra 10 inch on the width. So we kept that width on the M3K. So on the M3, you have about 32, 33 inches in width, 32, about 33 inches in width for the M3K. With the difference is that the carriage length on the M3 is 47 inches, and we added one more inch on the carriage on the M3K. So 48 inches in length, about 33 inches in width. Beside that, we realized that the pockets were enormously useful. So on the M3S, I started to create more pockets or openings as some people would, uh, would refer them. On the M3S, again, new openings were again, very well received, very useful. So it gave me the idea to create more openings. So when you look at the difference between the M3 and the M3K, it looks very drastic. And when you look at where the numbers are located, the pockets, everything, uh, you can see that the pad, the surface of the pad is considerably less on the M3K. We have more opening, we have more shapes. All of these right here are called anchoring points. So when you do exercise like a wheelbarrow, a lunge, or skating, lat pull down or torso twist, whatever, you need to anchor your body on the machine. If you don't anchor your body on the machine, you cannot get the traction. If you don't get the traction, you don't get the control. And if you don't get the control, you don't get all these other benefits associated with getting stronger. So very important to feel secure on the machine. So what did I do? Well, I added way more opening and it just, you have some very interesting shape. Like basically it looks almost like a Christmas tree a little bit. All of these have different branches and just different openings. You can find more shape to suit your wrist, your hands, the distance between your shoulders and so on. So a tall person and a small person here will find their optimum body placement on the carriage. We kept the same amount of number. I think that we go to the same number 11 on, on both, but you'll see that the distribution is a little different. So far, the M3K has been the most popular, the machine that we've been selling the most, the M3K Plus, as if right now. People are loving this machine. Also, one thing that is important, I'm gonna talk about this accessory also in a separate video, but I will mention it here. Between the M3 and the M3S, is when I started to develop the ramp. And the ramp is basically this accessory. It's a motorized frame that fits underneath the machine and lifts the machine on the back end. When we started to play with the ramp, we realized that we definitely need more anchoring points. So on the M3S, we have more anchoring points, but the M3K is really the first machine that I built for the use of the ramp. So if you consider the ramp out there, you can put the ramp underneath the M3, of course, you can put it under the M3S, but I would recommend then to get the M3K for the use of the ramp because you're gonna wanna have all these little opening, all these little shapes, you know, to grab on, you know, either of your hands or of your feet. The main drive behind the M3K was really the inclusion of the ramp. Another thing that I did too over the M3 is on the M3, you can see that you have side rails over here. Now these rails were enormously useful, but then I realized, you know what? they'll probably be more useful if they could extend the entire length. So what did I do on the M3K? The M3K was the first machine where now we have these side rails that not only goes the entire length of the carriage, but it kind of wraps around the corner. So you had that kind of a C and inverted C, right? So this is kind of what you have. Well, this was so successful that now on the Evo, on the Micro, the Mini, the Mini Pro, you finally have the bar that goes all, that wraps around all the way around the carriage and the platform. And I call that bar the ring of fire. Why do I call it the bar the ring of fire? It's because it gives you so much more control over the exercise. It engages the muscles. Matter of fact, when you do an exercise like the flying scrambled egg, which is an advanced exercise, it's very hard to do the flying scrambled eggs on the M2 and the M3. And I would say even on the M3S, because you don't really have the right anchoring points for it. So your foot is kind of sliding on the carriage, on the pad. And because of that, you don't have the proper traction because that foot is not stable. Here, your foot is just literally locked in one place and all of a sudden you feel all the muscular fibers all working together to stabilize and do the exercise. And it's actually easier to do so. To do the flying scrambled eggs on the Evo is the easiest flying scrambled eggs because now you have 
all the features available to you to perform this exercise perfectly. And even when you lift the Evo at an angle on the ramp, right? So now they become easier to do because of those anchoring points. So the anchoring points are absolutely important. I have many patents on the Mega Former. I have close to 120 patents by now. It's changing every month. And I would say that a lot of the patents are exactly for these features, the ring of fire, the anchoring points, all of this. These are very important features to consider when you buy a machine. When we did the M3, we're coming out of the M2, M2, M1, based on the Pro Former, still a lot of exercise laying on the back. And as well on the M3, you have more of a big pad over here. So we're doing a lot more exercise laying on the side, laying on the back. And then right around the M3, we started to, as you progress to the M3S and the M3K, something changed with the clientele. And then people started to do want more uh, standing and kneeling exercise and planking exercise. So all of a sudden, we also didn't need as much space you know, to lay on the back. You can still lay on your back on the M3K very comfortably, but that machine is definitely designed for more uh, exercise where you crawl on it, when you plank on it, when you lunge on it. So you do a lot more standing exercise, a lot less laying on the back exercise. So that's the main feature with also the M3K is really a machine that is more built for muscular endurance. If you want to do more exercise, more stretching, more laying on the back exercise, M3 is going to be for you. If you really want to do, you know, more lunges, more skating, you're thinking about potentially getting the ramp at some future point, then the M3K, right? So the quick release is still on the M3K. We have other options now to uh, change the springs, and you can easily add those spring, those different options to uh, the M3K. So if you want to, we have a super fast spring release. The super fast was created for the Evo, but we can also retrofit it to the M3K and we can also retrofit this technology to the M3. And the super fast is even a faster way of changing the springs. But the fastest way to change the spring is, of course, the new spring tension that we have coming up on the Evo 2, and that's one is called Lightning. And you will also be able to order your M3K or M3 with the Lightning option, the Lightning chain spring. It's the same on the M3K Plus, right? The M3, M3S, M3K, M3X, and even the Evo 1 all share the same frame. When you come to the back end, we have the same setup as the front end, so the rear platform is identical to the front platform, except that it has a number 12 on it. You may want to have a little bit more length for the platform, so we have another platform which is not shown over here, but we will show it in a different video, and you can use it and attach it to the M3K if you want that longer platform. The platform of the M3 is the same as the, the front platform. The changes are the same. Narrow platform, slightly longer with the Indisha. Handles on the bar. On the M3K Plus, you have the static handles. These, they don't rotate. Notice that, you know, when I was teaching classes on the M2 and the M3, that essentially that no one was using these bars like this, you know everyone would always keep the bar pretty much in this configuration. So as far as shipping, you're going to pay about the same on shipping. So it's, there's not a really a cost saving between the M3 and the M3K. Both machines have to be crated. Both machines have to be sent via freight. Both machines assemble the exact same way. How do they assemble? The machine is split into two pieces. You have the front and then the back, and then the handles are shipped separately. So when you get your machine, essentially, you assemble the front and the back together. It's very easy. You have two screws that you put on, and then you uh, screw in your handles. When you get to M3K Plus, same thing. You get the machine shipped into two pieces, the front and the back. You assemble it the exact same way as the M3. The handles, the static handles, assemble the exact same way as the rotating handle. The difference is just you have static versus rotating. They assemble exactly the same way. And again, that is going to be covered in a separate video. Price. Well, if you're a licensee, you're paying a discounted price. If you're not a licensee, you're not paying the discounted price. What is the price? Well, on the M3, the price is $7,900. $7,900 doesn't include taxes, doesn't include accessories. It comes with the springs though, but it doesn't come with the other uh, cables and the straps and, and all that stuff. M3K, same thing. So the M3K is 9,400, but if you want to buy the M3K Plus, it's 9,800. So you're talking about a $1,900 difference between the M3 and the M3K Plus. If you wanted to do the Plus uh, version on the M3, then you would look at $8,400, and then the difference in price between an M3 Plus and M3K Plus is now $1,400, so it's a lot less. So very similar in price, 
very similar in the shipping condition, assembly condition, and so on. So that is, there's really no difference in there. What the M3K Plus will allow you to do over the M3? Well, it's not gonna allow you to do more exercises, but it will allow you to do those exercises better. For example, when you do a mega donkey kick on the M3K Plus, you have these pads over here. They're freaking wonderful. You can, do an M, uh, you can do a mega donkey kick on the M3, but you're gonna press against the rotating handle, maybe not so comfortable for people. Now, by the way, when you do the mega donkey kick on the M3, you're not supposed to use the handle that way. You're supposed to turn them that way, and then you have two different levels where you can put your heels. But people never do this. When they do the mega donkey kick on the M3, they keep the handles in that rotation. You will do the same exercise on both machines. There's not new exercise you do on the M3K Plus that you cannot do on the M3. That is wrong. You have the exact same exercise library on both machines. The difference is that some of these exercises will be better accomplished on the M3K Plus because of all the anchoring possibilities. If you have any questions about the differences, any other things that you want us to include in this video, please email us, info at Again, my name is Sebastian Aigre. Thank you for watching.